Cubinery. I, I. Y tenemos que hacer la tres. Good evening. Hello, hello, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, well, welcome to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, all right, good. Yes. Excellent. Okay, well, uh, welcome to everyone. This is our, this is another English class. Well, in fact, this is our eighth, eighth English class. Okay. Okay, y hasta el momento, ¿cómo se han sentido? ¿Qué creen que podemos mejorar en las clases o...? ¿Qué cosas le gusta o no le gusta? El pronunciamiento, eh, sí, en vez me cuesta a mí, pero tengo que practicar para que me queden algunas. Pa. Sí, escuché música, sí. le recomiendo bastante escuchar música en inglés. Así es. Cuando estaba en bachillerato y me dijo la maestra que eso me pusiera para algunas palabras le quedan a uno siempre. Exacto, la rítmica. Uh -huh. También veo ese Google Lingo y, y veo 100 palabras en inglés. La respaso. Excelente, muy bien. Uh -huh. Le cito y le animo a que siga, a que continúe practicando. Oh, sí, vamos a terminar los módulos que quedan. Excelente. <ríe> si Dios lo permite, va, si no me claro quedo. Que sí. Muchas gracias, mister. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, veo que ya está la mayoría. Así que vamos a tomar la asistencia. Seamos, eh, Mr. Alexander Aaron Doña Flores. Arely del Carmen Cortés de Peña. Present. Thank you. Miss Brenda Lisset García Orellana. Okay. Eh, Carolina Leonor. Present, teacher. Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Present, teacher. Alvin Alexander Alvarado Díaz. Present, teacher. Erika Beatriz Rubina Guadrado. Present, teacher. 
Francisco Antonio Renderos. Present. Heidi Marisol Mentiva Armentiva. Present. Jenny Marisol Escobar Hernández. Present. Here. José Nicolás García Maravilla. Present. Juan Alberto Rivas. Juan Alberto Rivas. Presente. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga Alas. Juan Ricardo Menedemo Delgado Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Thank you, sir. Laura Noemí Rivas Rivas. Present. Maritza Reyes López. Maritza Reyes López. Ronald Alexis Gómez Mendoza. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present. Wilmer Fabricio. Present. Excelente. Ok, bueno, vamos a dar inicio a la clase número 8. Class number 8. Ok, to remember the topic that we studied yesterday. What topic did we study yesterday? How about Mr. Wilmer? Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? We going to... Okay. Yesterday. Ah, yesterday. Oops. I don't remember. We were talking about ah, this, that, those, these. Exactly. Very good. Also, we studied, uh, well, we, we refresh the use of can and could. Okay. Utilizamos can como habilidad, pero también como permiso. Y could también eh, para pedir o... Sí, para pedir de una forma eh, polite, educada. Okay. ¿Cuál es la forma más, cuál es la forma más formal? Por ejemplo, eh, can or could. Can, could. Could. Okay. Could es más, eh, es más educado, más formal, en comparación que can. Bien, muchas gracias. Ok. Ok, also we study the demonstrative. Demonstrative. For example, this. Uh, we have this. Okay, Miss Carolina. This. Cuando utilizamos this. Porque te quiero. Cuando hay algo que está cerca en singular. Excellent. Very good. Congratulations. When do we use this? This. Uh, how about Miss Laura? When do we use these? Cuando referimos a algo que está cerca, pero en plural. Excelente, muy bien. Vamos con Mr. Edgar José. ¿Cuándo utilizamos that? That. Ok, ¿qué tal Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas? ¿Cuándo utilizamos that? Cuando un objeto está lejos, en singular. Excelente, muy bien. En silencio. Mr. Nicholas, when do we use those? Those. Uh, es dos. ¿No? ¿Cuándo utilizamos dos? Cuando está largo algo. Está, está separado. Lejos, está lejos. Y va a ir en singular o en plural. Va a ir en plural. Plural. Excelente. Recuerden que si es singular vamos a utilizar es. Y si es plural, vamos a utilizar R. Bien. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, let's remember also the use of could for polite 
request. Cool for polite request. Ok, tenemos este ejercicio. Este ejercicio. Eh, en el enunciado, por ejemplo, dice I'm going to the post office. Creo que ya lo hemos realizado. I'm going to the post office. Entonces, eh, usted tiene que pedir de una forma polite utilizando could. Por ejemplo, tenemos, dice, tenemos el ejemplo, perdón. I'm going to the post office. Entonces usted, usted pide. Could you please buy some stamps for me? Unas estampas. Que le está pidiendo? Utilizando could. Y ahí le contesta. How many do you need? Ok. Y ahí termina. Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, en la segunda dice. I'm going to a clothing store. Una tienda donde venden ropa. Usando una pregunta. Pero de forma formal. Usando could. ¿Qué pediría? Si alguien le dice que vayan a la, a, a, por ejemplo, Bershka, Simán. Ok, how about mi Sonia? Mi son. I'm going to a clothing store. Uh, could you buy some skirt for me, please? Ok, good. Could you, could you buy some skirt for me? Excellent. Ok, vamos con Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny Marisol. La número uno. Um, usted puede, ya está hecha, pero usted puede dar diferente opción. En la primera uno, en la, perdón, en la número uno, le pide estampa. Usted puede pedir, eh, por ejemplo, que le envíen las cartas o algo similar. Ok. I'm going to the post office. Could you please send me the letters? Excellent. Could you please send me the letters? Very good. Vamos. Ok, eh, vamos con la número tres, Mr. Wilmer, Fabricio. I'm going to the library. I'm going to the library. I'm going. Do I have to switch it to. Oops, I couldn't pay attention. You have to ask for something. For example, based on the example number one, it says, I'm going to the post office. Uh, the yes. question was, could you please buy some stamp for me? So yes, now okay. we are going to the library. So you need to ask for something. Yeah, could you, you bring me mm -hmm. Yeah, could you bring me some pens, some pencil, please? Okay, good. Could you please bring me some pencil? Good. Okay. Uh, now, Miss Arely. Cortez, I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to the zoo. You see the expression could. Could you please take a picture of the lions? Okay, very good. Excellent. Very creative. All right. Let how about Miss Laura? I'm going to a bookstore. Bookstore. Could you could you please Show me that book. Okay. Could you could you please what? I'm sorry. Couldn't hear it. Show me. Show me that book. Okay. Uh, I can't hear you. Submit, you said. Could you please show me that book? Ah, ah show me. Good. I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you at the beginning. Could you please show me that book? Perfect. Okay. Ahora eh, ustedes le van a, pre a preguntar a uno de sus compañeros. Ustedes eligen su compañero y eh, escogen el enunciado. Vamos a tratar de no repetir. Vamos a iniciar con mi Sonia, please. I'm going to my English class. Tengo que decir el, el, el eh, que sigue. Puedo escoger a alguien. Escoja a alguien para que le dé una request. Ok. Um, Wilmer. Ok. Could you please explain me the, the last lesson, please? Oops, please. Say again. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Good. Excellent. All right. Now you choose someone and choose the, the examples. I'm going to the kitchen. Uh, let's see. Miss Carolina. Miss Carolina, go ahead. 
The microphone is mute. Carolina. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to the Repeat. kitchen. <laughs> Sorry? He's going, going to the, the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. One song. People from the kitchen. <laughs> Yo le tengo que contestar qué es lo que voy a hacer a la cocina o, o qué. No, se tiene que contestarle eh, pidiendo al, que le traiga algo, que le traiga algo de la cocina utilizando ah. la expresión could you please, que Oye. Significa, podría usted. Oye. Ah, could you please prepare uh, uh, coffee? Coffee, good. Excelente. Please prepare coffee, excelente. Okay, how about Mr. Alexander, I don't know. Okay, how about eh, Juan Alberto Rivas? Yes, teacher. Okay, mister, tenemos un enunciado donde se refiere que van a Hello? un lugar. Hello? ¿Me escucha? Uh -huh. Vale, está anunciado donde se yes. refiere que va a un lugar. I am going to the zoo. Por ejemplo, exacto, I'm going to the zoo. Entonces, okay. eh, su compañero le, le tiene que pedir que le traiga o que le haga algo del zoológico, pero utilizando la expresión could you, que significa podría. Por ejemplo, como Miss Carolina said, digo, oh, okay. could you please prepare, a, could you please prepare coffee? Porque eh, Mr. Ah. Wilmer dijo, y va a la cocina, entonces hoy es su turno. Ah, yo tengo que contestarle a Wilmer. Eh, no, pues yo le voy a decir, vaya, y se me contesta. Ok. I'm going to a bank. I'm going to okay. a bank. Ok. Could you please and change our money? Excellent. Could you please change money? Perfect for me. All right. How about uh, Miss Jenny Marisol? Once again, I'm going to a supermarket. Supermarket. Could you please buy the fruit? Okay. Could you please buy fruit for me? Excellent. Very good. I was going Miss Marisol Menjivar. I'm going to English class. Okay, okay, okay. Um, could you leave me your note? Okay, good. Could you could you leave me or give me your notes? Perfect. Eh, vamos con Mr. Mr. Elvin. Mr. Elvin. Dice, I'm going to the vegetable market. Vegetable market, la tiendona. Vegetable market. Could you please... Could you please, honey? I'm sorry. Could you please? Could you, could you please? Puedo decir una, una fruta, sí, va. Sí, eh, eh, traer, puedo decir. Me puedes traer uh -huh. o me puedes could conseguir. You, could you please get? Could you please get the apple? Okay, an apple. Good. A apple, a apple. Uh -huh. A apple, good. An apple. All right. Um, tenemos a mis... Let me see. ¿Quién no ha pasado? Miss Laura, ya pasó usted. Ok, Miss Arely. Sí, bueno. Excelente. Vamos con Marisol también. Miss Brenda. Uh -huh. I'm, ok. Ok, I'm going to the, let me see. The, I'm going to London. I'm going to London. Um, could you please, uh, could you please, um, buy, um, no sé cómo se dice recuerdos. 
Souvenir. Souvenir. Souvenir, please. Okay. For me, excellent. Mr. Francisco Rendera, you want to be volunteer? Sí. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to the yeah. kitchen. Could you prepare a sandwich for me, please? Excellent. Could you please prepare a sandwich for me? Excellent. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, all of you. Okay, very good. Okay, ahora, siempre para seguir practicando el uso de can and could. Give me a second, please. Ok, eh, les voy a dejar el link en el chat y también lo vamos a revisar o si no lo podemos ir revisando acá en clase. Ok, está el ejercicio. Mr. Alexander, ¿cómo consideraría usted que es lo número uno? Se poner en, en orden. Could you use your max? Your max, please. Could you use your mask? Please, right? Okay. Uh, number two, Miss Miss Carolina. ¿Cómo consideraría que es la número dos? Could you please answer the door? Excellent. How about Miss Jenny? Number number three. Um, could you repeat the question, please? This number three? Yeah, yeah. What happened here? There is no space. Vamos a inter bueno, entendemos con can take a photo of you, please. Miss Jane. Okay. Can you please, can you, excuse me, can, can you take a photo, please? Okay, vamos con Mr. Wilmer. Could you please wash your hands? Oh, could you please? Creo que es de, de otra forma. ¿Es la opinión? Yes. El question mark, it is in the, it is in twist. Ok. I think so. Ok. Eh, Miss Laura. Your microphone. Ok. Ahí estamos. Ok. Me decía, podría tal vez bajarlo un poquitico, por favor. Sería, could you wash your hands, please? Okay. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Mr. Juan Ricardo Benedemo. Help me with my homework, please, you can. Can you please help you me homework? Please, at the, at the end. Please, please. Ahí tiene el signo de interrogación. Sí, sí. Yes. Let me see. Mr. Francisco 
calderas. Can you clean your room, please? Excellent. And finally, also Miss Brenda. Do you mind? Will you give me some money, please? Okay, let's check it out. Uh, 10 out of 10, good. We got a good grade. Excellent. Excelente. Bueno, seguimos. Okay, well, today I brought this, this conversation. Okay, and it says, tenemos la, me, me, me dicen si pueden ver la conversación. Se logra ver. Yes. Okay, muy bien. Okay, it says, hi Molly, hi Lily. How, how, you, how, how are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm doing well, thanks. And you? Not so good. What's up? Let's have, let's have a talk. If you, if you have time. Sure, I must make my report by the end of this weekend, this week, but I will not be able to manage it. Why? The topic is difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet. No, we shouldn't do it. We have better marks when use our own words. I must have a thing. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I'm able if I'm able to have with it in time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have a lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problems? Yes, I do. I may, I may help you. I will have a try. I will have a try. Thank you, dear. Okay, tenemos una conversación de una persona que está muy estresada porque no ha terminado eh, una actividad donde a su amiga le ofrece ayuda. Uh -huh. okay. No sé si tienen preguntas acerca de alguna palabra. Uh -huh. O expresión. Not be able. ¿Perdón? Not be able. I am able. Esa? able. Uh, be able. Uh, I am able, able to. I am able ¿verdad? to have it in time. Seré capaz de tenerlo en, a tiempo. Ser capaz. <laughs> Teacher, y cuando dice y you have a time, así se pronuncia. For temporarily out of stock. I am able to have it, have it in time, esa expresión. Ajá. Have it in time. Ajá, have it in time. Así es. Sí. Have it in time. ¿Para qué le vamos a decir a él que temporada de producto ya solo le decimos de producto have it in time have it in time first conditional hey first remember conditional. miss Jenny any question everything clear yes everything clear excellent miss Carolina any question I'm doing doing well. Arriba, arriba. Ahí. 
Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Ok, esta es una expresión que tenemos. Eh, how are you doing? Que significa, ¿cómo estás? How are you doing? O, ¿cómo vas? ¿Cómo estás este día? Es como, son sinónimos de expresiones como, how are you? Entonces ella le contesta, I'm doing well. Que significa, eh, estoy, estoy muy bien. Estoy muy bien. Es cuando usted dice, I'm fine. Es un sinónimo también. Ah, ok. Thank you. Ok, well, vamos a practicar un poco la conversación. Parejas. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing well. Thank you. And you? I'm not so, I'm not so, I'm not so good. Not so good. Not, not so good. Not so good. Okay. Uh -huh. What's up? Let's have a talk if you have a time. Sure, I won't make my report. Make, make my make, make my report. Report. Report by the end. By the end. Week, uh, uh, and the of week. But back and we not the big able to manage manage it. Why? The topic have very mark when we use our own words. I must have a thing first of all. Just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I am um I am able to have have it in time. Um let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problem? Yes, I do. I may help you. <laughs> No, we shouldn't do it. We have better marks 
when we use our, our own words? I must have a think, first of all. Just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I'm if I am able to have it in time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problems? Yes, I do. I may I may help you. I have I will have a try. Thank you, dear. Okay. We finish, mister. All right, good. Um any question about pronunciation or any word? Just internet is was difficult for me. I I don't know if if okay if I say internet. <laughs> uh this word has very it has many variations. You can say you can say internet, you can say internet. Yes, okay. Internet or internet. Oh. I I can say internet. <laughs> It's easy for me, but the other way, mm -mm. I can't. Yeah. All right, just hold on for a minute and a half. Because okay. The problem. Yes, I do. I may help you. I will have a try. Thank you, there. Yeah, let's do. Let's do a game. No veo lo otro. Uy, este, otra vez. Vale, hoy usted comienza. Ah, hi, Ronald. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. And you? Not so good. What's up? Let's have a talk if you have time. Sure, I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage it. Why? The topic is difficult, and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet. No, we shouldn't do it. And we have better math when we use all our own words. I must have a thing. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I am able to have it on time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problem? Yes, I do, man. I may help you. I will have a try. Thank you, there. Hey, yeah, yeah, me Hey, hi, Lily. How are you? How are you doing? Oh, I don't wait. Thanks. And you? Not so good. What's up? Let me have a talk. Do you have time? Sure. I must make my report be the end of the week, but. But I will not be able to manage it. Why? The topic difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet? No, we should do it. It has better marks when we use our own words. I must have a thing. Free hope. Hola. Oh, you have a You really sí, need it. Sí. You look tired. I will have a risk if I am able, I'm able uh, to have it in time. Uh, Let's have a real uh, chat. I was going to have no, long. No you sé. can join me. Pues, do you have time to have a look at si me problem? Yes, I do. I might help you. Mm. I will okay. have tried. Okay, Thank you, dear. Sí, bueno, sí, estaremos ahí. Okay, gracias. Teacher. Quise charlar aquí porque pensé en recordarte de la. En la otra sala donde me ha puesto. 
Con Erika no puedo entrar. Oye, se, queda, se quedó ahí en la, en la... Los cheques son procesados por nuestros contadores. La Ella oficina, se en la main... el escritorio y hasta las tumbas, ah, pastor. Pero, que tal vez te parezca pero, que son tuyas. Puedo tener aquí no para que practiquen con ella una vez. Okay, okay. Ah, sí, sí. Ok, ok. Alguien dice que se quedará donde sala. está, que ahí está bien. Intentará que estamos sin pares ahorita. Está inspirado. ¿Qué sí. tiene de malo? Algo que me tomaría dos meses, tomará dos años, si es que sucede. No quiere unirse. No lo culpo. Porque no lo quieres aquí. Recién entramos a Harlem en el ¿Por qué tanta prisa? Perdona, si me iba a bajar esto, me fue la de hacer del mundo un mejor lugar. ¿Qué haces tú? ¿Complacer tu sentido de justicia a expensas de la gente que más valoras? Y como en el otro, Pajit. Eh, Oh. Otra jugada como esa y están fuera todos. Hermano, bueno, practiquemos para mientras. Ahora pende de uno. Hi Lily. Difficult. The topic is difficult. Difficult. Mm -hmm. The topic is difficult. The topic is difficult. Mm -hmm. And hey. I really, uh, really, uh -huh. Uh -huh. don't have time. Don't have time. Don't have time. Ha a time. Don't have time. Don't have time. No, how. How. Mm -hmm. Tiene que escucharse bien el, el sonido de how. Don't, don't have time, uh -huh. and time for it, uh -huh. for it, for it, for it. For, uh -huh. oh, okay, va. Ahí vuelvo a leer. That topic is difficult, mm -hmm. and really don't I have a time for it. No, it's half time, no half time, half. Half time. Es que usted me lo está leyendo como si estuviera <ríe> leyéndolo en español. Have time. <ríe> have time. <ríe> have time. No, have. 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 Uh -huh. have. Topic. No digo have. 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 That uh -huh. topic have. is difficult. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I really done. I have uh -huh. time for oh. it. Have. How. Time uh -huh. for it. Sí, otra vez. That topic is difficult and uh -huh. I really don't have a time for how, it. How, how, Diga how. 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 No have it. Uh, how. Uh -huh. How. 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 Uh -huh. Time for Otra it. Vez? Uh -huh. Otra vez. That topic is difficult and uh -huh. I really don't how time Muy bien. for it. Eso, vamos bien, vamos bien, vamos bien. <ríe> Vaya. You can use the internet. You can use the use. Use. Use, ajá. You can hide. Ajá. The no, you can use. You can you, use. You can use. Ajá. The internet. internet. The internet. The internet. The internet. The internet. Uh -huh. The internet. Mm -hmm. You can okay. have the. No, you can use. No, have no. Use. 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 The internet. As you can use the. Okay, well, and now that you're ready to practice with your classmate, uh, we're going to do it in front of in front of the class. Okay, la vamos a realizar dentro de la clase. Vamos a pedir eh, por 
por cuestiones de tiempo, vamos a pedir, vamos solamente algunos, vamos a poder pasar. Vamos a pedirle eh, a la pareja de Mr. Wilmer y Mr. Ronald. Ahí está, ahí está la cosa. Ronald, you ready? Ahorita, Wilmer, démosle. Ok. Hi, Ronald. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well, well, thanks. And you? Yeah, not too good. What's up? Let's have a talk. If you have time. Sure, I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage it. Why? The topic is difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet. No, we shouldn't do it. We have better marks when we use our own words. I must have a thing. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired, man. I will have a rest. I am able to have it on time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Uh, do you have time to have a look at my problem? Yes, I do. I may, I may help you. I will have a try. Uh, thank you, there. Okay, man. Finish this year. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, now, let me see. Miss Arely and Miss Sunny, please. Okay. Hi, Molly. Hi, Lily. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well, thanks. And you? Not so good. What's up? Let's have a talk if you have time. Sure. I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage it. Why? The topic is difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do it. We have burners when we use our own words. I must have a think. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I am able to have it in time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have a lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a, a look at my problems? Yes, I do. I may help you. I will have a try. Thank you, dear. Good pronunciation, good fluency, intonation. Good job. All right, uh, I think two more. We Mr. Alexander and Miss Brenda, please. Hi, Alex. Hi, Brenda. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. Thanks, and you? Not so good. What's up? Let's have a talk if you have time. Sure. I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage. Why? The topic is difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet? No, we shouldn't do it. We have better marks when we use our own words. I must have a thing. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I am able to have it in time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problem? Yes, I do. I may help you. I will have a try. 
Thank you, dear. Okay, good. And finally, Miss Jenny and Mr. Nicholas. Hi, Jose. Jose? Hello, Jose. Hi, Jose. Okay, I think he's off. All right, eh, vamos a pedirle a Mr. Renderos que le ayude a Miss Jenny, por favor. Frank? Mr. Frank, can you help your classmate to read the conversation, please? Hello? Can you help Miss Jenny to read the conversation, please? Uh, okay, uh, should, could you show me the conversation, please, teacher? Sure. Oh, teacher. Here you go. Hello. Thanks. Teacher, tuve mala conexión, me sacó. Okay, Mr. Nicolás. Pero en la siguiente actividad nos ayuda, Mr. Nicolás. Ya le pedimos ayuda a Mr. Francisco. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Miss Jenny. Hi, Fran. How are you doing? Oh, I, oh, I'm doing well, thank and you. No, so good. What's up? Let's, let's have a talk if you have a time. Sure, I must make my report by the end of the week, but I will not be able to manage it. Why? And the topic is difficult and I really don't have time for it. You can use the internet. Uh, no, we shouldn't do it. We have better marks when we use our own words. I must have a thing. First of all, just have a sleep. You really need, need it. You look tired. I will have a rest if I am able to have, have it in time. Let's have a real chat. I was going to have a lunch. You can join me. Do you have time to have a look at my problem? Yes, I do. I may help you. I will have a try. Thank you, dear. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Very, very, very good. Okay. Ahora vamos a ir a nuestro manual y vamos a buscar el ejercicio 6. Ejercicio 6. Está en su manual. Ok, y vamos a realizar el siguiente ejercicio. El siguiente ejercicio dice eh, Make a, a phone call to a friend to ask about the product his or her workplace sales in a polite, uh, polite way. Switch roles. Ok, vamos a hacer o crear una phone call o llamada a, nos, a alguno de nuestros amigos para preguntarle acerca del producto que en su, en su empresa venden. Ok, usted puede crear, bueno, tiene que crear la conversación. Eh, preguntar detalles sobre el producto en una forma educada. Ya sabemos utilizar, el, podemos utilizar could, podemos utilizar would you mind, okay, podemos utilizar can, okay, aquí, va, aquí va a depender de su creatividad. Okay. Eh, la conversación puede ser corta, okay, quizás uno, dos, tres detalles que usted le pregunte. All right, vamos a hacer en en parejas, pareja. Okay. There you go.
Okay. Hello. Okay. Yeah, again, you too. Do you have any question? No. Got. It. Thank you. Okay. Do you have any question? Eh, vamos a hacer una, una conversación como que yo le, le hago una llamada telefónica, pero él me viene de un servicio o cómo es la cosa? Eh, la llamada consiste en que usted le pregunta acerca de un producto, por ejemplo, que Wilmer vende, pero utilizando preguntas de, de una forma educada o polite, Ajá. como por ejemplo, Ajá. could. Por ejemplo, could you give me information about this product? Could you tell me how much for that? Offer it. Uh, could you uh, could you send it to my home or could you send it to my workplace? We send the cook. Okay, mm -hmm. con dos tres palabras, con dos o tres preguntas, estamos bien. Okay. Bueno, entonces en el primero sería es speaking. Es speaking. Oh, do you have any question? No, okay. teacher. We're going to to do a, a conversation about Ed, AirPods. So I need to buy an AirPod and I need to know how much and how much hours can I listen to music. Oh, God. Uh -huh. And uh, about the battery. Uh, but, uh, pregunta de tiempo is how long? Is it? How long can how I long? use it? Uh -huh. How long can I use? Ah, okay. That means how many hours I can use. This is how, how much time. How much time? Uh -huh. Oh, how long can I use it? Ah, how long? How long? Uh, bye. Do you have okay. any question? Uh, it only have a one conversation or two? One conversation. Okay. Okay, let's continue, Miss Sonia. Okay. Andre, um, could you give me information about the new book that your company sells? Could you give me? Could you give me a information? Yes. Okay, dígamelo otra vez, can you give me information about the new book that your company sells? The new book, the company. Oh. Ah, okay, the new book is it for the Is is the ah como como le digo este que puede tener para el libro it's a, it's, it's about uh... but it's the reading or or you draw reading for the reading ah okay uh this this book is um uh, is the the first introduction como se dice in, in que nos introducieron ese nuevo producto que nos introducieron is the new product in the company um, the new uh -huh. but the new book the new book in, in my company is es que no sé cómo decirle que es el, el nuevo producto okay. que nuestra compañía adquirió uh, one of us is a new book. It's very interesting. And no sé. Y, y tiene... Okay, the, the new book is the is the is the the content that the the contenido el contenido. No sé cómo se dice esa palabra that or the topic. Content. Ah, uh, if the content is interesting, is the have a short history. They have a short stories and it's um uh, eh, my address is verdad uh, 
My address. Address. No, pues yo, sería, sería la dirección mía, porque es a, es a mí a quien me lo va a enviar. Ok, 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 ok. Entonces le tengo que decirle lo siguiente: Good night a Juan Alberto Rivas. En, Alguien de Movis, de, de, ¿cómo sería? ¿Qué compañía Movista sería? Sí, Movista me dijo. Ok, good, good night. I am Juan Rivas. I call, sería I call de Movistar. Movistar. Network sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Network. I call for... Ofrecerle sería sales, ¿verdad? En inglés. Offer. Offer, ¿verdad? Offer. One. A phone. Así sería, good night, I am Juan Rivas, I call Movistar Network, I call for offer on one phone. Could you give me one moment on time for explain the, the product? Sería, ¿verdad? Okay. Luego que, me, de, luego que me pregunta sobre, sobre si tengo el tiempo. Uh -huh. Could you give me yeah. one moment for explain, para explicarle sobre over, over, sobre sería over, ¿verdad? O sobre el producto. About the product. About, I thank you, teacher. About product. The product. The product. Uh -huh. oh. Y usted me va a contestar, yes, I, I, que sí estoy interesada. I'm interested. <laughs> okay. I'm interested. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Entonces también como What are the options? ¿Cómo así? Como así como ¿Cuáles serían las opciones que tienen? De para celulares. Por ello. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ese sería para. Ok, ok, ok. Por ello. Así, pero así sería. What are the, the options do you have? Así es. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Está correcta, sí, teacher. Do you have? What are the options do you have? 
What are, no, it's real. What are the options you have? You, you have. Uh -huh. okay. You have. You have. La respuesta sería... Um, yes, we with the product productos en existencia sería maestro products in stock. Perdón, product in stock. Product in Stock. Ajá, como producto en existencia, pero también se puede tomar como producto en... ¿Cómo se llama esto en español? Bueno, tomémoslo como existencia. Como vitrinas, algo así. Uh -huh. The product in the stock. In the stock, perdón. Ajá. Uh -huh. Es que me había dicho antes, eh, el, el Huawei Y9A. Sí. Uh -huh. el, yes, the product in the stack is a cell Huawei Y9S. This is have, this have and camera the, of high, 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 high. Resolution. And, and one Samsung. memory. Un capacidad de memoria sería memory capacity o capacity memory. Memory capacity. O capacity. O, o capacidad de storage, storage memory. Storage. Recuerda que eh, se llama esa palabra, storage. 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 Is. Storage memory. Memory, memory también. Memory. Gigabyte. Okay. okay yo, como que yo le comunicara yo comunicara a sala de venta y de ahí le responde el otro y le, le dice hello le dice eh, digamos pues sí pero el otro lo tiene que, que decir ajá en qué le puedo ayudar ajá por eso yo le puedo ayudar él le puede decir a Mike a Pon a Cole a I can friend. help you. I can. Yeah. I can. I can help you. Friend. Ajá. Y ustedes van a hablarle ya, este, ya tienen el producto y en qué lugar, la zona. Y, y, la... y Mr. Alexander le va a decir, yo necesito 10 pares de... No, porque de ahí no tendría que ser este... Tienes que ser vos. Que no, ser porque el, o sea, el, ah. yo soy el que le comunico a esa persona y usted le, usted, él le responde y le dice hello. Que yo soy el consente. Y, usted, y, usted, y usted le responde, yo necesito 10 pares de zapatos. Entonces porque yo es, que, como, es, que, es como que usted fuera... Usted vale, ¿cómo fuera, tenés el diálogo? ¿Cómo tenés el diálogo? Vale. Es que es que, Vaya, como que usted, usted me usted no llamara a la tienda, ¿verdad? Usted llamara a la tienda, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y vale. yo le digo hello, y usted me dice hello, y de ahí le digo, y de ahí usted me dice que quiere unos zapatos, una información de zapatos para la, la construcción, para el trabajo en la construcción. Y después yo le digo, I'm sorry, y de a communication de sala on the manager. Y de ahí le, ya, ya le comunico a, a, a Juan Ricardo Menedemo, 
y él Ajá. le dice hello y usted le dice hello le dije él hey can I help you le va a decir él y usted le va a decir ahí qué es lo que necesita no <risa> <risa> convence <risa> <don, risa> <risa> <don. risa> Pero ya, pues están anotando lo que, está, lo que se va diciendo. Están anotando ahí porque si no. No sé, si aquí estoy escribiendo yo, yo por ahí, pero ahorita hay que hacer la, la oración. No sé, solo se ha hecho como. Vaya, y de ahí que le pregunto yo. Porque quiero información acerca del calzado de construcción. Bueno, pues, ¿Qué le voy a preguntar? Vos hablas por teléfono, vaya, mire, yo quiero tanto, tanto de zapatos, va. Y, y yo me comunico con Nicolás, Nicolás te da tanto, tanto, va. El precio. Can you, can you please? Can you help you? Ah, no, no. Ya lo hicimos bola ahí, me. Ah, sí. Ya ven que estaba mejor lo que yo le había dicho. Bueno. ¿Y qué información voy a pedirle de los zapatos? Bye. Es que es, da a entender que yo, o sea, da a entender que yo ya, yo ya sé qué es lo que usted quiere, ¿verdad? Pero yo ya, o sea internamente yo con, con, con Ricardo Menedemo yo ya había hablado o sea de ahí yo le comuniqué a él me explico ah yes sí ya yeah. bueno entonces entonces no le puede decir en qué le puedo ayudar sino que le va a decir a ah, usted quiere información acerca de este zapato este... Ajá, correcto sí, sí. yo te voy a decir hi my account information ajá ¿Cómo? No, ahorita no. Usted, hey, no usted le va a decir cuántos pares de zapatos quiere de... de, de no, porque, la... yo, porque yo supuestamente quiero consultar acerca de ellos. O sea, ¿qué información voy a pedir? Ajá. ¿Mm? ¿Qué tallas tienen? ¿Qué, ¿Qué este... estilo? No, ¿por qué no? Pero... <risa> No, oh, pues sí, estilo, porque vaya a decir, cuatro, va, digamos, el cuatro, cuatro por cuatro, o hay diferentes, va. <risa> o le ponemos otra cosa. I need the, bueno, hello, I need, I need to know. I need to know. So, yo necesito saber eh, qué tallas tiene de zapato. Puede ser esa una consulta. Uh -huh. Es una consulta. I have five easy letters. What the witty letter box? Where you have the witty tight foot? Es decir, de, de botas para la con de botas para. Hay botas industriales. Ah, Hay botas. botas. Ajá. Ajá, de botas industriales, podemos decir. Sería, digamos, tantas docenas de tanto, de tan, tantas cajas. Digamos, 24 cajas. No, es que no, que solo va a pedir una pequeña información ya, para no hacerlo muy largo. Eh, wow. 
it's a good song. It has awesome. a lot, a lot of good lot benefits. Of benefits. That's right, my friend. We use to sell just the best fridges around the country. Okay, thank you for the information. I'll be my, I'll be. I, I'll be buying in it with. Mm -hmm. Okay, try. Good morning, Ricardo. How are you? Very good, Brian. You? How is it going? Uh, so far, so good, bro. I would like now about the refrigerator there in your workplace, the code and the warranty. It's okay, my friend. Just let me tell you about it. We have the French door refrigerator. It brings a more look into your kitchen. Not only does the lower freeze down, means large blocks of storage space, but the ability to open only one refrigerator door at a time minimizes the escape of cool air. The cost of it, it is $600 in cash, and the warranty of it is for 24 months, always it is for electrical issues. Uh, wow, it was some. It has a lot of good benefits. That's right, my friend. We used to sell just the Mire, y la y la conversación si quieres se la dictamos, Erika. Oh, va. Porque ya la ya la. Ah. Ol, ol, o le puede le sale fácil mandarle una foto a usted, Brenda, a ella. Una panchicleta. Sí, sí. Una panchicleta que le llevan una 25. Y cómo, ajá, cómo está ella, porque no sé cómo. Ajá, ¿cómo, ¿cómo está estaba? usted en el grupo? No sabemos cómo se llama allí. Erika Urbina. Pero yo ya le estoy buscando en los contactos y no, le no encuentro. Eu dice uno, el 71-69-97-87. Ese es. Ah. Pensé que ya le había puesto el nombre, pero no, ya lo voy a arreglar. No. Está bien. Vaya, entonces díganme lo de la conversación. Ahí le voy a mandar la foto, Brenda, y, y, y la vamos a, a, a repasar para que usted la escuche. Pero creo que debo decir. Vaya, está bien. Uh -huh. A ver si le entiendo. Solo me ha caído un mensaje que dice aquí les voy a enviar. Ah, hoy sí. Ajá, por favor. Solo que las piedras de centro. Vaya, yo te la mandé. Y mi madre ahorita la veo. Le voy a mandar un contacto, se llama Etel Mariposa de Añil. <risa> Con ella cotice. Ay, teacher, es que como aquí vendemos de todo, niño. <risa> Aprovechamos la casa. Es que como la conversación habla, eh, eh, decía de un producto, así que tuvimos que aprender. Yo lo vendo para Luciano. Ah, ahí venden caja para Luciano, donde, donde la Brendix. Sí, caja. Ahí pueden mandar a hacer sus cajas de sus lociones bien riquísimas. <risa> Vaya. Practicamos para que nos oiga el teacher que hemos trabajado, porque según él jugando hemos estado. <risa> Hi Brenda. Hi Carolina, how are you? I I'm, I'm doing well, thanks and you? I'm very good. At you work, you go make me some boxes with printers? Yes, I could. Printing. Yes, I could. Can you send me the design? Yes, I will send it to the email with the specification. Perfect. I will be pending. Thank you, Brenda. Bye.
Bye. Como usted dijo que no fuera tan larga. Hicimos <risa> corto. No le escuchamos nada, Tiche. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. <risa> está bien, está, está muy bien. Pero por eso vamos a finalizar ahorita, ya gracias. No, que estábamos bien a gustito. <risa> Entonces mañana nos comunicamos. Ok. Bye. Hello, are you ready? Marisol, Miss Marisol says, yes, teacher, we are ready. Excellent. Ok, also. Ok, well, uh, let's start. I don't know if Miss... See, how about Mr. Elvin? Are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay, let me know. Okay, okay, three, two, one, action. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Elvin. How can you help you? Hi, Elvin. Could you give me information about the products for personal care that you sell? Sure, Ali. We to distribute shampoo, deodorant, soap, and body moisturizer. Thank you. Could you tell me how can I order these products? Sure. The sales agent business has to send us their request for quantity that should need. Okay, Elvin. Thank you for your help. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay, moisturizing. Moisturizing. Excellent. Hidratado. Perfect. Okay, how about uh, Miss Jenny's group? With Sonia. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sonia. How are you? I'm great. Could you give me information about the new book that your company sells? Yes, okay. The content of the new book is interesting. It is the for edition, the author of the book won the contest by writing. Excellent. I want to buy a book. Could you give me the price, please? Yes, the price of the book is $20. Remember, it is a limited edition. Thank you for your information, Jenny. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. Okay. How about Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas? Are you ready? Laura, you, hola. Lo siento que mi internet está un poco, un poco mal, pero vamos okay. a intentar. <laughs> okay, uh, good night. Uh, okay, comencemos. Uh, good night, I am Juan Rivas. I call Momista Network. I call you offer one a cell phone. Could you give me one a moment for explain about the product? Hi Juan, sure. Yes, and um, the product in the stock is a cell Huawei Y9S. This is have, have a camera, the high resolution and one memory state of the off. 1020 memory gigabytes. Hello. Hello. Sounds good. I'm interested to buy it. Could you send it, send it to my home? Yes, of course. Could you give me your address for sending the product? Sure. My address is Los Cerritos Casa 6. Okay. Thank you for your choice. Okay. For your, for your preference. Okay. okay. Excellent. Um, Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Juan, Miss Laura, and Mr. Juan Alberto. Okay, how about Miss Carolina and her group, please? Get okay. ready, Miss Marisol. 
Brenda. Hello. Hello. Okay. Erika. Okay. Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Carolina. How are you? I'm, I'm doing well, thanks. And you? I'm very good. And at your work, you could make me some boxes with printing? Yes, I could. Can you send me the design? Yes, I will send it to the email with the specification. Perfect, I will be printing. Thank you, Brenda, bye. Thank you, bye. Excellent, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay, uh, Mr. Ronald, please. Okay, teacher. Lisa. Excellent. Let go. Is it with compañero, right? Yes, Mr. Bye, Ricardo. Uh, good morning, Ricardo. How are you? Hey, very good. How are you? How's it going? Uh, so far, so good, bro. I would like to know about the refrigerator you sell in your workplace, the code, and the warranty. It's okay, my friend. Just let me tell you about, about it. We have the French door refrigerator. It brings a modern look into your kitchen. Not only does the lower pressure set up many large blocks of storage space, but the ability to open only one door at a time, minimizing the escape. Um, it is $600 in cash, and the warranty of it is for 24 months, always used for electrical issues. Uh, wow, wow, it's awesome. It has a lot of good benefits. That's right, my friend. We used to sell just the best fridge around the country. Okay, thank you for, for the information. I'll be going in next week. Okay, bro. I'll be waiting for you. Bye. Bye. Excellent. Okay, good job. Thank you very much for your participation. Mr. Francisco and Mr. Wilmer. Ah, and I'm sorry, sorry. First, Miss Marisol and Mr. Edgar, and then Francisco and Mr. Okay, teacher. Hello, thank you for calling. Marisol, speak. How may I help you? Hello, Marisol. How are you? I need to buy a new AirPods Pro. I'm really good. And yes, we have two new airports. They have a good sum. Really? And how much are they? $250. I like it. And how long time can I use it? You can use it 10 hours. You have to buy it. Yes, I'm going to buy right now. But I need to know about the warranty. Of course, the warranty of the airport is, <clears throat> is for six months. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Marisol. Finish. Excellent, very good. Okay, just uh, solo escuché Marisol speak. Sería Marisol speaks. Y también 10 hours, plural. That's it. Okay, okay. But good job. Uh, Mr. Please go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Francisco and Mr. Wilma. After them, Alexander and his group, please. Hi, Francisco. Hello. Um, I, could How you bring me some information about your product, please? Oh. I want to buy a scissor. Okay. I don't work in I don't work in the cell department, but I can give you the price of some of them. 
For example, what one scissor I think is cost twenty dollars. Um, I buy a, a scissor for. I just need. I just want to cut my grab. Okay. We have two different uh, types, and we have one uh, imported from China, and the other one is handcraft, handcrafted here in Salvador, but and the price is higher. And what is the different? Uh, uh, the first one uh, is cheaper, and the second one is um, is um, yes more expensive, I think. And for the other stuff, um, uh, you could see on our website, which is httpimacasa.com. Or you can see it on Facebook if you want to see the brochure. Uh, could you send me a brochure to my email, please? Okay, just I think I have you your mail. Okay, I will do it. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, it's a, it was a pleasure, man. That's okay, it. Thank teacher. you. That's it. Good job. Excellent. Both of you. Perfect. All right. Uh, let me see. Mr. Alexander and his group, please. Nicolas. Hello, Nicolas. Ricardo. Oi. Tell me, Lepo. Tell me. How are Hello, you? Ricardo. Good morning, Alex. Alexander. Good morning, Ricardo. Good morning, Alexander. 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 Mike, upon a frame uh, and reproduction, there she is chilling. Um, I need to know what size are of initial boots. Uh, just please, upon the skin, a roy. Informant Mechon Ajerdi Dean. Hey, but um, I need to know what size are of industrial goods. Chow this or Come and calzado, calzado, eh? Este eran five, ca este five, ten, esti, estilo, ay. Thanks for the information. Five, ten, eight, you. El tipo de calzado que tenemos es preparado. Okay. We are done, Mr. Juan Ricardo. Thank you very much. Sí. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Thank you, Mr. Juan Ricardo. Gracias, okay. teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Good job. Okay, vamos a rezar al manual. Ustedes me indican. Eh, vamos a ir a esta parte del manual. Mr. Epping, do you have this part in your manual? Miss Sonia, Mr. Wilma, do you have it? Yes, yes, teacher. Got it. Okay. Okay, it says read this survey 
about customer experience with a product. Vamos a leer, eh, vamos a aprender cómo leer encuestas si está eh, de satisfacción con el cliente. Okay, for example, how satisfy, que es la palabra, how satisfy, satisfy or satisfy, 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 are you with your product? Are you with your, this product? Okay, y tenemos, en la escala tenemos very satisfy, we have satisfy, dissatisfy, and we have very disaffatify. Okay, tenemos ahí very la escala. Satisfied. Tenemos la escala de eh, qué tan eh, a gusto está el cliente con algún producto. También tenemos la número dos. Dice, rate your opinion about the product's quality. Tenemos very low quality, muy baja calidad. Tenemos low quality, low quality. Also we have average, average significa promedio. Hay una respuesta promedio. Average. Okay, we have low quality, very low quality, and we have high quality. Okay, alta calidad, promedio, baja, baja calidad y muy baja calidad. Okay, number three. Number three. Number three, it is. The value of this product is, el valor, it is poor, pobre, very poor, good, and excellent, excellent. And then we have, would you use, would you continue using this product? Yes or no. Vamos a volver a, eh, a leer, okay. It is a how satisfied, number one, how satisfied are you with, you with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. ¿Cómo está el cliente? Mr. Alexander, de acuerdo número uno, ¿cómo está el cliente? Satisfied. Dissatisfied, very good. Tenemos el número dos, dice, rate, rate your opinion about the product the product's quality. Tenemos very low quality, low quality, average in high quality. Calidad alta, promedio, baja, baja calidad y muy baja calidad. De acuerdo al número dos, Mr. Elvin, ¿cómo está el cliente? ¿Cómo, eh, cómo sitúa la, la calidad del producto? Very low quality. Very low quality, very good. Vamos al número tres. The value of this product is poor, very poor, good, excellent. Miss Jenny, according to the customer's opinion, how is the value of this product? Poor. Poor, very good, poor. Then we have number four. Would you continue using this product? Yes or no? According to the customer's opinion, Miss Carolina, it is yes or no? Would he continue using this product? No. No, he won't. No, he won't. Okay. No, he Muy, won't. Perfect. Ahora, basada en esta imagen, vamos a contestar estas preguntas. Por ejemplo, dice, eh, how was the customer experience? How was the customer experience? Is the product a good one or bad one? Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. Vamos a ver. El número uno se trata de qué tal fue la experiencia con qué tal fue la experiencia del cliente. How was the customer experience? Y puede iniciar contestando esta pregunta de esta forma. The customer experience was. Okay? The customer experience was good, bad, excellent. Okay, ahí depende de lo que usted identifique. The customer experience was okay. Number two, is the product good or one? It is. Is the product 
a good one or bad one? ¿Usted puede contestar? Eh, the product is the product is good one or bad one. Okay, number three, it says, think about possible problems the customer had with the product. Tienes que pensar en qué tipo de experiencia tuvo, o posible experiencia tuvo el cliente con el producto. ¿Qué, qué considera usted que pasó para que él eh, puntuara el producto de esa forma? Is it done? Finished? Not yet? Almost? Finished. Got it. Thank you. Okay, let's begin with Miss Sonia's opinion, please. How was the customer experience? The customer's experience was dissatisfied. Okay, dissatisfied. Perfect. Excellent. Mr. Juan Ricardo Menedemo, how was the customer experience? One. Agua, este. Teacher, no se escucha nada, no le escucho nada. Este. Ah. Este pro. Agua, agua, agua. Bad home. Ok, number two, Miss Laura. How was the customer. I'm sorry, sorry. Number two, is the product a good one or bad one? The product is a bad one. Okay, good. Bad one. Bad one. Eh, number three. Aquí vamos a tener diferentes opiniones. Vamos con. Okay, vamos con Mr. Wilmer. Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. I think maybe the product uh, broke, broke it up. Broke it up. Okay, good. Eh, Excellent. How about Miss Arely? What do you think happened with the, with the customer experience? Maybe the product don't feel his expectations. I don't okay. know if feel is the correct verb, but I use it. <laughs> okay. Uh, just the product doesn't. The product okay, doesn't. the product doesn't. Okay. Okay. How about Miss Sonia? What do you think happened with the customer experience? Um, I think the product can turn on. Okay, can turn on. Perfect. Miss Jenny, what do you think happened with the customer experience? Maybe the product was of a poor quality. Poor quality. Perfect. Mr. Alexander, what do you think happened with the customer experience? ¿Cuál cree que fue el, eh, el posible problema que el King tuvo con el, con el producto? Sorry, tenía el micrófono apagado. Anka. The product was probably the poor quality. Poor quality. Ok, good. Eh, Mr. Edgar José Cruz. Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. What do you think happened? Uh, maybe he doesn't explain very well the product. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. I think. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go on. Uh, Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas. 
what happened with the product? What do you think the customer think, thinks is poor quality? Mm, I think this because why? Uh, because a product is is hurried uh, when the the factor. Okay, had a problem with the the factory of uh, the problem is the the make the building the factory. Uh, Tiene daños por de, de fabricación. Ah, ok. Sin problems of the when was made uh -huh. cuando fue hecho, realizado. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Okay. Excelente. Ok, muy bien. Voy a compartir pantalla. Eh, voy a, vamos a ver un poco sobre May. Okay. Tenemos tiempo. May and Might. Solo permítame que no está acá. Dame un segundito. Me indica si puede ver la presentación, por favor. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, thank yes. you. Vamos a ver un poco sobre yes. me and might. Me and might. Okay. Me and might. Permita. Bueno, no sé por qué no se me ve la imagen, pero vamos a continuar. No me deja teacher. Ok, bueno, tenemos may and might. Ok, esas ambas estructuras o ambos model verbs, porque también de, pertenecen a los model verbs como would, como can, como could. Ok, eh, ambos, ambos eh, reflejan posibilidad. Ambos reflejan posibilidad. Ok. You to express what is possible could be Ok, algo que puede ser, ambos expresan algo que puede ser posible. Por ejemplo, you might go home now, John. You might go home now, John. Que okay, ahí está expresando una pequeña posibilidad de que John irá a la casa. No sabemos si él se irá ahorita o se irá después. You might go home now, John. Como pueden ver, tampoco se separa con la preposición to. No decimos you might to go, sino que únicamente eh, no únicamente escribimos might seguido del verbo. Okay? You might go home now. Como repito, es una posibilidad. Posibilidad. No sabemos si, si se irá ahorita o si se irá después o se quedará en el mismo lugar. Ok. Eh, también tenemos otro, otro ejemplo. Dice... Look at those clowns. It might rain in a minute. Okay. It may rain in a minute. No sabemos si va a llover en un minuto, si en realidad va a llover, o si nunca va a llover. Entonces es una, es una posibilidad. Una posibilidad. It may rain in a minute. The sun might shine. The sun might shine.
or he may be, may be in the woods. El pod, puede estar entre los árboles. He may be in the woods. Okay, I may have a hamburger or maybe pizza. I may have hamburger or maybe pizza. Entonces, es una pequeña posibilidad. Tenemos otra. We might have a picnic. We might have a picnic. Ok, también tenemos I might miss the lesson. I might miss the lesson. Fátima, la forma negativa. La forma negativa únicamente vamos a agregar not, después de may or might. Únicamente not. No hay contracción para estas dos. No hay contracción. Únicamente colocamos not. Fátima may not be feeling well. Una posibilidad que ella no se sienta bien. Fátima may not be feeling well. Okay, alguna alguna pregunta sobre el uso de may and might? Teacher, y maybe entonces maybe es puede, puede ser, ah, es, es lo que pasa es que ahí va separado, maybe. Y ah, en esta es unido. Y may be separado significa tal vez. En ah. cambio aquí may, ah, okay. might es posibilidad al igual que may. Teacher Dígame, mister. Can we say Fatima may, may be not feeling well? <laughs> no, eh, maybe no, porque ahí dice tal vez, pero para, para decirlo en esta forma es may not, o podemos, incluso podemos utilizar could. Couldn't be feeling well. Pero ahorita estamos viendo únicamente may and might de forma separada. Si quiere usar maybe en esa oración, diría Fátima isn't well, maybe. Or maybe Fátima isn't well. Teacher, una pregunta, pero ¿cuándo se usa may y cuándo se usa might? ¿O eh, ambos, se pueden, ambos se pueden utilizar de la misma forma. Pero con cualquier eh, persona. Con cualquier o sea, persona, con cualquiera, no, no, cualquier, cualquier pronombre. Ajá, con cualquier eh, pronombre. Se puede utilizar con I, you, they, we de la misma forma. No va a cambiar en hey, ninguno. Y Mike, no cambia ninguno. No cambia. Aquí no aplicamos la regla de que agregamos S, de que agregamos don't. No. Mira, Un... no, 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 no si está en singular o en plural. ¿Me manda? Que si no importa si está en singular o plural. No afecta, no, no afecta. Por ejemplo, en esa imagen que tiene ahorita puesta, podríamos mm, decir, okay. or he might be in Ex the woods. Exacto, he might be in the woods. He okay. might be in the woods. Al igual que aquí podemos decir, we may have a picnic. Ok, vamos a tratar de completar... Eh, los primeros dos ejercicios son seis. Vamos a. Ese lo pueden encontrar en el manual, en la página 24. También tenemos más ejemplos. Eh, vamos a pedirle a Mr. Alexander que nos pueda leer los cinco ejemplos utilizando May. Bueno, son cuatro. May. 
he may not be satisfied. satisfied. Okay, la página page page twenty four. Exercise four. Twenty four. Lo que en el cuadro. Sí, estas. I may. Mm -hmm. I may ask for a ref refund. 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 You may buy at a different store. Excellent. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach to expectations. Perfect. Excellent. Vamos con she might. Vamos a pedirle a Miss Jenny que nos ayude a leer los cuatro ejemplos. Might. She might want a refund of those units. They might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor. He might not buy here again. Perfect, good job. Okay, ahora vamos a, vamos a completar los ejercicios. Bueno, vamos al menos uno. ¿Cómo considerarían que es la we número uno? We or he? May not be. We so may not. We may not. May not be. Satisfied. Be satisfied. 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 Okay, vamos con el número dos. The warranty. The, the warranty. warranty. Mitch. Vamos a hacerlo con might. 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 Might be longer. Be longer. Might be longer. Number three. The service. The service might. Might. Or may. Might not. Not. not be excellent. Okay, there you have. Okay, easy or difficult? Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, muy bien. Bueno, vamos a, a tomar la asistencia de este día. Mañana continuaremos utilizando me or mine. Uh, uh. Hmm, yeah, well. <laughs> okay, vamos. Eh, Mr. Alexander Aaron. Present. Thank you. Eh, Arely del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Brenda Lisset. Carolina Leonor. Present teacher. Edgar José. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Erika. Present teacher. Francisco. Present teacher. Heidi Marisol. Present teacher. Good night. Night. Jenny Marisol. Present. José Nicolás. Present teacher. Juan Alberto. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Have a good one. Have a good one, you too. Eh, Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Laura Present Noemí. Teacher. Present teacher. Maritza Reyes. Ronald Alexis. Okay. Mi Sonia Miriam. Present. Wilmer. Present. Okay, good. Okay, hoy le corresponde a Miss Erika Beatriz. One on one. Más, nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good one. Take care. Bye, bye, bye. Good night. Buenas tareas. Buenas tareas, compañeros. Buenas tareas. Good night. Bendiciones a todas y a todas. Amén. Amén.
Ok, Miss Erika. Como se sabrá, tenemos nueve minutos para poder solventar alguna clase de pregunta que usted tenga con respecto a la estructura, con el vocabulario, o si está claro, también. Todo. Eh, su manual, Miss. Su, perdón, su micrófono. Bueno, eh, lo que más me cuesta es el, el has y el have. Ok, ahorita le, ahorita le comparto la pantalla para que podamos visualizar una presentación donde se hace el uso del have y el has. Quiero ver. A ver. Permítame que estoy buscando la presentación. Está bien. Después de este módulo, ¿cuándo inicia el otro? Eh, fíjese que esa, esa información no, no la manejo yo. Ok. Ajá, solamente me dicen que okay, está en la clase 2. Bye. Eh, el has o el have. Vamos a utilizar mis have and has. Son verbos que significan tener. Por ejemplo, o se refieren a posesión. Para decir, vamos a decir que usted tiene un lapicero negro ahorita en su mano. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué vamos a decir? Eh, Miss Erika has... A pen in her hand, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿cuándo uh -huh. vamos a utilizar have y cuándo vamos a utilizar has? Puede, puede ser que usted esté preguntando eso. Have lo vamos a utilizar uh -huh. únicamente cuando eh, utilicemos los, ver, los pronombres o los sujetos I, we, you, or they, que significan uh -huh. eh, yo, nosotros, ustedes, o tú, o ellos. Y has lo vamos a utilizar en su forma afirmativa, okay, afirmativa, porque en negativo es diferente. Cuando utilicemos he, she, it, o un nombre, por ejemplo, si decimos Rodrigo, si decimos Carlos, si decimos Armando, vamos a utilizar has. Y como le decía, ambos se refieren a posesión. Le voy a pedir que lea el número uno del cuadro del la de lado izquierdo. Por favor. You have a car. Ok, ahí el número dos del lado izquierdo también. She has a dog. Ok, no tenemos problemas en la pronunciación porque lo dijo muy bien. Ok. En la forma negativa, Miss. En la forma negativa ya no va a existir has. Ok. Únicamente have. Forma negativa. En la forma negativa únicamente vamos a agregar antes de have vamos a agregar don't o vamos a decir doesn't. Pero... ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar don y cuándo vamos a utilizar doesn't? Don lo vamos a utilizar cuando utilicemos los pronombres, por ejemplo, de I, we, you, and they. En ese caso, sí vamos a utilizar don seguido del verbo. Cuando sea he, she, it o un nombre, vamos a decir, vamos a utilizar doesn't para decir que él no tiene, él no posee. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero que usted me diga ahorita, ella no tiene un libro, no tiene el libro, ¿cómo me diría? She does, she does not. Ah, doesn't. A book. She doesn't, se le faltó el verbo. Oh, tener. She doesn't have a book. Excelente, para decir que ellos no tienen un carro, no tienen automóvil, por ejemplo. Ellos. Excelente, muy bien. Creo que solamente le faltaba repasar, ¿verdad? Porque ya lo asimiló oh. bastante bien. Vaya, ahora quiero que me diga, yo no tengo eh, lápiz. I don't have a pencil. A pencil, perfecto, muy bien, Miss. Ahora que eh, yo le voy a dar el nombre y usted me da la oración en negativo. Ok. Eh, Marta. 
Tengo que decir el nombre. No, no usted me dice la forma negativa. Yo le estoy dando el sujeto. Marta. Ok. She doesn't have a book. Muy bien. Muy bien. Y ahí tiene más ejemplos. Ok. Sí, sí, repasar es lo que me falta. Bueno. Ok, ¿tiene alguna otra pregunta, Miss? Uh, no. Ok, Nada. excelente. Bueno, le agradezco muchísimo por Gracias. quedarse. Y ve, veo que rápido asimiló el tema. Das, has and have. Muy bien. Sí, es que en la tarea, no en la tarea, sino que en la actividad que le ponen a uno diario. Uh -huh. Salí mal, entonces, pero es porque no había repasado, entonces por eso. Ok, bueno. Eh, le invito, que creo que la puede volver a hacer, mis. Oh. Intente nuevamente, creo que lo puede volver a hacer. Ok. Bueno. Muchas gracias. Con gusto. Bueno, la, nos vemos en la siguiente clase. Que tenga una feliz noche. Bye, bye. Feliz noche. Bye.